The senseis in this film are Nagaoka, Kawakami, Takagagi, Ito, Kudo, Asami, and Shinojima. Now let us visit Nagaoka Sensei. He's 10th Don and was one of the disciples of the founder Jigoro Kano. I didn't know him very well but I thought I'd share these photos with you. Here he is at a tournament with President Risei Kano of the Kodokan, the grandson of Jigoro Kano. Now let us go on the mat with the Sensei. Ukiwaza is one of the sutemi or self-sacrifice techniques. Here the sensei pulls him around to his right and then as the opponent steps forward he blocks him with his leg and uses his hands in a circular action. Here it is in slow motion he pulls the opponent first to his right then as the opponent steps forward with his right leg the sensei drops down blocks the leg with a very strong hand action, a circular action, pulling in on the elbow tight lifting with the other arm and bridging with his back leg. Yoko Gake was originally a technique against men in armor. Steps back, fall down yourself, driving the person on their leg, then kicking their leg out. Let's do this in slow motion. As the opponent steps forward, Right. The sensei is going to drop down, pulling hard on his elbow. As the opponent's weight is on his leg, he kicks it out from underneath him. Keeps falling, pulling in on the elbow, and driving him down. Yoko Otoshi is like Ukiwaza, except you throw sideways. Here he avoids the opponent's action, drops to his side, strong hand action, throws him. In slow motion, he avoids the opponent's throw as the opponent recovers. The sensei quickly drops to his side, pulls his elbow down, the other hand up. Strong circular action, bridges with his back leg, and throws the opponent. To be with Kawakami Sensei was like being in a judo time machine back at the time of Jigoro Kano. Here we are working out at his dojo. He started his judo in the town of Mito in Ibaraki Prefecture. Here's a rare picture of him with a white belt. In Ibaraki, he did judo, sumo, and bojitsu. He was invited to Tokyo to the Hori Koshi Dojo, which was the Yoshin Ryu Jiu Jitsu School. And these are some of the teachers there. And while he was in Tokyo, he went to Meiji University, where he became captain of their judo and sumo team. Here's a picture of him in his sumo regalia after winning a championship. Look at the built on that guy. Here we are. Here's another shot of him with the sumo team at Meiji. Here the sensei is using the Joe or short staff. This is an exercise on the use of the staff. Stepping from one side to the other, moving the staff around, but avoiding it swinging outward. The weapon is always kept close to your side. We're not wearing armor. So we have to be careful so we don't whack each other. We start out slow, increase the speed, hitting the staffs harder and harder and harder. This is just moving across sideways. Ball. Now, Hadley and the Sensei are doing Rondori. Watch how Hadley bounces on that spring floor when he's thrown. Hadley tries an Ochigari, the Sensei stops and slides into Ukiwaza. See the floor mounts? And here we are in slow motion. Hadley tried Ouchigari, and as he steps away, the sensei slides down, catches his leg, and with his hands, throws him through the air with Ukiwaza. Sioi Otoshi is a combination of the one-arm shoulder throw and the body drop throw known as Tai Otoshi. He breaks the opponent's balance forward by pulling forward very hard on his left lapel, then swings through with his left arm and his left leg. Catch the jacket high, brings the leg low under the knee, still pulling very hard with his right arm. Drops straight down, bringing the opponent across his back, 
then throws by pulling down and snapping up with his leg. Very hard action. That's a beautiful throw. Throwing with a cross grip. Cross grip opponent, pull very hard as you step back fast and hook his foot. Kouchi on the back leg. When opponent is defensive, drive him back on his rear leg, locking it, then come through and hook. Lift him up, push him on his back leg, come through and hook. Lift up, hook. He's a garuma, the knee wheel. Grips near the shoulders, and as the opponent starts to move his left foot forward, he catches it. Let's do it in slow motion. Gripping high on the shoulders, he steps around with his left foot with his toe pointing in. Pulls on the opponent. Watch his left foot is in a straight line with the other two feet. Blocks his knee. Has a circular action with his hands. Keeps that action going as he sweeps up.